Hey everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share this sweet little strawberry tree box. And for the strawberries, I showed in a previous video that I use the Country Life Cricut cartridge. I do this old school style. I don't have a new Cricut. I still have the um, Expressions 2, I think. Yeah, Expressions 2. Um, anyway, I turned to page 56 and I sized my strawberries at three and a half and then I paper pieced those together. So you're going to need two of those and you're going to do one one way and one the other. So you're going to want to flip your image on your Cricut when you go to paper piece them because they're going to fit on the box like this and you want the strawberry seed showing on the outsides of your box. Okay, so you'll need two of those and also you could probably find um, images of strawberries online that you could just print them out if you didn't have a Cricut. Um, I would just type in strawberry images on Google and maybe there's some free printables there for you. Um, but size them at three and a half high and then I use the very sweet sentiment here. Paper piece that together at three quarters of an inch high. Okay, so that's the Cricut cartridge I used. So you're gonna need those. And to make the box, you're gonna need for your handle piece one by five inches and then as you see here, I ran it through my polka dot embossing folder um, just to create some polka dots. You don't need to do that, but I just did. And then I paper pieced my sentiment together and I added some foam on the back for dimension. This one I didn't, I just glued it right onto the box, but then I decided I wanted to um, put a little foam there, so I did that. And then I also made a little bow out of red and white gingham uh, printed ribbon. You could do whatever you want with that. So I'm going to set the strawberries aside. You're going to need a sheet of cardstock for the box that measures six by four and a half. And you're going to want to line it up at the six inch mark. Score at two and a half. And then again at three and a half. And then you're going to flip it and score at one inch. And then flip it to the exact opposite side and score again at one inch. And it should look something like this. Okay, let's put our scoreboard aside. bone folder here. Okay. I was saying in a previous video that if I have any fruits that I like to craft with, my um, strawberries and lemons are my favorite. I don't know why, but they are. And I also like doing uh, using watermelons. So those are kind of like my favorite fruits. Okay, so when you have it all folded up, what you're going to do is come on the side of your box and you're going to cut up on the score line up to the very next score line to create this big flap here. You're going to do the same here. Okay, so now you have this flap, your little square, and this flap, and you're going to turn it around and do the same thing on this side. And get my glue going here. Once you have that done, I just turn in my small squares here, and I add liquid glue to both edges. You can use whatever adhesive you want. And then I pull up one side, and you want to make sure that your edges are flush together, nothing's sticking out. 
and I'm going to run my bone folder over it, make sure it's nice and adhered down. Okay. So then for here, I just add glue on these flaps on each side. And then I close the box up and I just flip the flaps up. Make sure they line up. And I'm gonna run my bone folder on the inside. Okay, that's it, we have our treat box. Now I'm gonna wanna glue my strawberry on the front. Um, but instead of putting glue on the strawberry, I put it right on the front of the box. Got it on the bottom of that one there. <laughs> Little messy there, Cindy. Okay. And I usually just put this flush to the table here and just kind of back it right up to the box. And then I'm going to run my bone folder on the inside, pushing down to make sure it really is nice and strongly adhered to the box. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And when you go to do that, you want to make sure that the two strawberries line up by like the top stem and then of course on the edges. So what usually I just do this and then I make sure I put my fingers on each side and make sure they're flush together that way. And then I look here to make sure I lined it up with the other stem before I really press it down. Okay, so that's that. For the handle, I just use my bone folder and kind of run it on the inside to curl the paper a little. But I'm going to put glue on the outside where my polka dots are embossed, where they're raised. And then glue that to the inside of the box there. And I kind of want to like try to center it in the middle of the treat box. If you want, you can do that your handle first if that's easier for you. I just like to put the strawberries on first and then my handle. And then put this on this side. And this way the handle's tall enough that you can get your treats in and out. You know, it shouldn't get in the way of anything. Okay, push that really well. And I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and put it on my foam that I already have in the back of my sentiment. And I think I'm just going to line it up at the bottom of the box here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue right here at the base of this stem, a little dot, and add my little gingham bow. Okay, and then I'll fill it with treats, and then I still have some of this. Um, decorative shred that I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I'll just add a little bit into that once I have the box filled with goodies and I may make a little gift tag for it later it's a small one we'll see how it goes but that's it guys that's our very sweet treat box I hope you like them and try one for yourself and if you do have a lot of fun making yours thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions let me know take care and happy crafting